If you want to check out the whole show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on odds.com. We move on. 8 p.m. Eastern. Detroit Red Wings at Chicago Blackhawks. These Detroit Red Wings open up at plus 115. You can get them at 115. They're also 120 at some spots. The total in this Red Wings Blackhawks game opened at six and hasn't really moved. There's been a two or three cent move offshore to the under, but a small move. I locked in the Red Wings on the minus one line. I got plus 249. That was a plus 115 money line and a plus 365 puck line. The Red Wings are 2-2 two and two on the season. This is their first road game. They're at the Chicago Blackhawks, 0-3-1. This is the Blackhawks' first home game. We're at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois, 8 p.m. Eastern. The Red Wings play hard for Blashill, their coach. I expect that to continue. I respect him as a coach, and I do think with Iserman at the helm, Jeff Blashill is the coach, this team will get better. It may take them a bit of time, but they will get better. They may need another lottery pick. They haven't had much luck in the lottery, but they're going to improve. They're coming off splitting a two-game series with the Blue Jackets at home Monday and Tuesday. They split up their top line of Larkin, Bertuzzi, and Manta. They placed one of each on their top three lines. I think that move makes sense. Bobby Ryan's off the bottle and seems invigorated. He's got a chance to get his career back on track and, what, four goals in three games. I see this team fighting to get better, and I see – their opponent giving in. The Blackhawks are giving in, going for the number one overall pick. Now, there may come a time, 15 or 20 games into the season, when the Red Wings also give in. But right now, there's hope in that dressing room. They're 2-2, two and two, and I expect a lot of fight from them. The Blackhawks have lost the first four games of the season, and more are coming. They're coming off being swept by Columbus at home on Monday and Tuesday. They don't have Johnny Taves, a.k.a. Captain Sirius, to keep everybody accountable and keep everybody fighting. They don't have 2019 number three overall pick, six foot four sniper Kirby Doc. That injury stings. Carl Soderberg has finished his seven-day quarantine. He may be able to help this very weak group of center icemen. Center Zach Smith was placed on IR last week. So was defenseman Brent Seabrook. This is a very soft team, an easy team to play against. Now, they can still score. Pat Kane, they got Kubalik, Debrinkat. They got – they can score, but they have little else. They're easy to play against. They are small. Detroit Red Wings minus one at plus 249 for a big score.